Hey guys, it's Josh coming to you with another barefoot shoe review. And today we are not reviewing a single model of shoe. We are answering the most asked question that I ever get on this channel via email, uh, comments on the videos. Everybody wants to know this answer. So what is that answer? I'm going to get to you in just a second. But before we do that, hit like, hit subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can catch my videos when they're fresh and hot off the presses so you don't miss them. Besides that, so like, subscribe, notify. Besides that, you're going to want to follow me on Instagram at Barefoot Shoe Josh. Uh, why? Because my reviews there are more detailed and in-depth than what you get on these YouTube videos. And you get pictures of barefoot shoes on your Instagram feed. Nothing wrong with that. So... Uh, let's get into it. What's the, t what's the big question that I keep getting asked over and over and over again? And I'm typing out these responses or I'm like, I need to make a video on this. I've been promising it for a while. Josh, what are the widest brands of barefoot shoes? Boom. So that's the question today. And I'm coming back to you an answer with a top 10 barefoot shoe brands that fall into the top seven places because we have a couple of ties in there. And then beyond those top 10 brands, I also have some custom options because obviously if you are looking for wide shoes and you order something custom, you can pretty much get them as wide as you want. I'm sure there's some limit on that, but, but basically, uh, you know, custom options got to be included. But I, I went for the top brands that come out of the box, the widest barefoot shoe brands. Now, why do we have to do a video like this? Because aren't all barefoot shoes wide, Josh? Sure, in a manner of speaking, generally a barefoot shoe is going to be wider than uh, a conventional shoe generally. But, you know, you have some wider conventional shoes, you have some narrower barefoot shoes, and those two might begin to blend together. So, first of all, what are we talking about when we're talking about barefoot shoes? We're talking about shoes that meet a couple of criteria. First, you're standing on a flat surface. So there's no heels, there's no toe spring in the front, you're standing on a flat surface. Okay, and so zero drop from heel to toe. Then uh, also in regard to that flat surface, there's no arch support jammed under your arches. Your arches don't need stuff under there. They're perfectly fine the way they are. So no arch supports and a flat surface. Beyond that, you're talking about shoes that are anatomically shaped. So what does that mean? They're shoes that are shaped like a human foot. I know, these are uh, mind-blowing concepts. Rather than this narrow or pointy uh, kind of conventional shoe shape that somehow ended up that way due to fashion uh, or whatever it was, uh, we're talking about shoes that are shaped like the human foot. Now, not every human foot is shaped the same. You have, you know, slopes and mountains and different shapes of human foot. And same with barefoot shoe brands. A, a lot of brands gravitate to a certain foot shape. And so there's that's another factor to consider. Uh, so you have a flat surface, no arch support, uh, anatomically foot shaped. And then the last factor would be the sole in regards to flexibility and ground feel. So a lot of times you'll see me do on individual shoe videos, roll up the sole, do a hot dog and twists and turns and all that kind of stuff. Generally in barefoot shoes, you're gonna have pretty good contact with the ground, stay in touch with your environment and uh, thinner, more flexible soles. Okay, so those are the basic requirements to be involved in this. Now, another caveat, not every shoe brand uh, is as clear with the measurements of their shoes. Okay, so now I have 20 some brands of shoes here on the table behind me that I'm kind of going to dive into real quick. Uh, so be prepared for that. But, uh, you know, if you look at a, a single company's shoe chart, some of them have very specific, like if you order size 45, it's going to be blah, blah, blah millimeters wide, uh, blah, blah, blah millimeters long. So other ones are like, if you have a foot range between here and here, this is the size you want to get. So they vary. So in some of these cases, I had to get out a, a ruler and measure in millimeters myself of the insole. If I pulled out the insole, I'll measure the insole. If there's no insole or I can't get it out for some reason, it's attached, then I had to do the best I could. Uh, and, and also you got to factor in that each of these manufacturers has different models and there's some variance in width between one model to another. Another caveat, okay? If I show you a particular brand, you don't like that particular model, uh, Bear in mind, they probably have 20 or 30 other models on their website that you might love. Or, or I'm going to show you, obviously I'm a guy, I'm going to show you mostly guy shoes if you're a woman. Uh, they're going to have women's models. They're going to have kids models in some cases. So this is just meant to introduce you to the, the maker, the company, the manufacturer. And then you go to their websites. And speaking of that, when you're going to their websites, please, I'm asking you if this video is at all helpful to you. Help me out in return by using my affiliate links. They're right there in the video description. I'll put them for every one of these 10 manufacturers and the custom manufacturers. Use that link. 
If there's a discount code there, use that too. It'll save you money. So not only are you helping me, you're helping yourself. So, <laughs> all right, that's awesome. But even if there is no discount on certain ones, please use my link. It does help me and I appreciate it. And I make these videos. I have a regular job. I just do these videos because uh, they're fun and hopefully it helps some people out. So, okay. I'm just making sure I got all, okay, foot shoe shape, my measurements and sizing charts and stuff. So take it all with a little bit of a grain of salt. There might be, you know, one model of this shoe that's wider than that one. And I gave this one a higher place on the, on the top 10 manufacturer scale. You know, forgive me. There's a little variance in there. Uh, again, they have different models that could be different widths. Check out their websites. Use my links and codes. All right. All those caveats hit. Boom. Let's get into it. And uh, forgive me. Uh, you know, I'm going to try to cover this. But like I said, there's some custom options. There's a lot of shoes here. So I'm going to try to be quick. I'm going to start at the low. I'm like, Actually, I'm going to start with the custom because that's obvious. If you have wide feet, you order a custom shoe with your foot measurements, you're going to get a wide shoe as wide as you want it pretty much. So here's some custom options for you. First of all, I'm going to go Drifter Leather. The Drifter Leather, I got these Chelsea boots. Uh, gave them my foot tracings and all that stuff. They made these as wide as I wanted them to be. Boom, the Drifter Leather, killer. And for the Drifter Leather, sorry, I have my notes here. Um, I have no link or no affiliate code, nothing. So you're just going to have to go. Uh, I'll put their normal website link down below. You can go there, order it. You pay full price and all that stuff, but it's a great option. They make, you know, boots and shoes and all kinds of stuff. Boom, Drifter Leather Custom. Beyond that, Custom, I have two shoes here by the same company, Prime Trotter. Again, I have no links, no discount codes, but awesome company. Look at these dress shoes. If you need dress shoes, barefoot dress shoes, man, the pickings are slim out there. There's some that come straight out of the box. I've reviewed those too. <laughs> but as far as the widest, you know, we're talking custom, Drifter Leather, I mean, sorry, uh, Prime Trotter. These are killer. I got the black cap toes. I got the brown wing tips. Derby style, blah, 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 super sweet. And, and you know, while I'm talking about these, uh, there's individual videos on every single one of these models. So if I hold up something real quick and just kind of go fast and you see something you like, just look for the name and model on the channel. You'll find the individual review, get a lot more information about that shoe. So don't ask me 50 questions until you've watched the review on that shoe, okay? Prime Trotter, boom, custom option. All right, next cut, I have two sandal cust custom options. One of them I have a link, one of them I don't. So these are Paisley running sandals. And, and again, you can get all different colors and it's custom. So you can order whatever, same, same goes for those dress shoes, those boots. You can say, I want this color, I want that size and this shape and everything else. And they'll just do it. Uh, so uh, this one I have a link, Deliberate Life Designs. And, uh, you know, awesome sandals. Boom, this, that's the colors I went with. You can do whatever you want. Uh, Paisley running sandals. I got these black ones with a suede top and the, and the foam, uh, the memory foam kind of layer in there. Um, Paisley running sandals. Boom. If you, if you need fat, wide feet, custom sandals, try one of those. Deliberate Life Designs or Paisley running sandals. Okay, so that's all the custom options. Okay, now we're going to get into the top 10 manufacturers. And I need to look at my notes because some of them tied. It gets a little complicated, right? At the number seven position, we have two companies tied, and that is dun, 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 Orgo Shoes with the Gen 2 Everyday Sneaker, and we also have Feel Grounds is tied in the number seven position, and here I have the Snap, which uh, is a Velcro closure, and I also have the Drop Top Mesh Slip-Ons, which I love. And uh, these are at the narrower end of the scale, so when I say the, the number seven, that's out of the top manufacturers, this is the more narrow end of the scale, okay? So these guys, I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video, you know, all these shoes are going to be size 44 or 45, and um, I'm comparing the widths uh, on those. These guys, the Orgo and the Field Grounds, come in around 10.3, 10.4. My feet, just so you know, are 11 centimeters wide. So <laughs> I have about 6 or 7 millimeters wider foot than those shoes, but I can still comfortably wear those shoes. Now, do I wish they were a little bit wider so I'd be a little bit more room? Sure. But when you're taking into account the, the measurement width, uh, you also got to take account the flexibility of the side of the shoes. So you might be able to fit a wider shoe in a 10.3 than you could fit in some 10.5s with a stiffer side. You understand what I'm saying? It has a little more flex, a little more give. So again, all these measurement stuff, you got to take it with a little bit of a grain of salt. But 10.3, 10.4 on the field grounds and Orgo shoes. Okay, coming in at number six, Bear Barrex. Bear Barrex is like the, the younger, sportier sister of 
Belenka, who is further up the list, okay? But Bear Barracks, they come in my size at 10.5. This is the Zoom model. I did a review on those. Check them out. Okay, so that's number six. And number five, we have Saguaro Shoes. And the particular model I got here is sort of a trail running, very flexible, breathable, grippy, but they have a couple of different models. Again, check them out on Amazon. They're reasonably priced. So if you're just breaking into barefoot shoes and you don't want to spend a bunch of money, this is a good, wide, comfy brand that you can give a try and see what you think. Uh, Saguaro Shoes came in at 10.6 centimeters, okay? Okay, at number four, we have two brands that are tied for number four. First, we have Belenka, who I just mentioned a minute ago, uh, the sister company of Bear Barracks. Uh, the, the Belenkas are a little bit wider than the Bear Barracks. It's the same people, the same basic people that run the company, but it, it's two different names, two different styles. So Bilenka Prime, that's this guy here. I love this, it's kind of a slick, dressier, kind of casual, athletic shoe. And the other model I have from Bilenka is the Trail Walker. And I've done a review on these. Love these for, for the basic trails. And there they go, Trail Walkers. And, and the Bilenkas come in at 10.8. You can use my link. You, you might or might not save money. I'm not sure, but use my link down below, please. Um, and tied at the number four position, we have Splay Athletics. I have two colors of the same model. It's the freestyle model. These are a classic canvas, athletic, casual style, and very reasonably priced, and not from Amazon. You're actually ordering from a barefoot shoe manufacturer for a good price, cool shoes. And here's the uh, olive green model, which I wear a lot, so they're probably a little dirty <laughs> with the gum soles. But, and, and again, they have a bunch of models. My kids have some models with Velcro closure. My wife has a pair uh, of splays, love splays. They come in at 10.8. Again, tied with the Belenka for the number four slot. All right, we're getting down the list, guys. Down to the top three spots now. Number three, we have free footwear. Now, if you've seen any of my Freet reviews, you know I love Freet, <laughs> okay? So I have two pairs of these. This is the Freet Tanga, and they have a bunch of different models. Again, so, you know, I, oh, I didn't even put my hiking boots down here from Freet. Doggone it. <laughs> I have about 25 pairs of shoes here filling this table as it is. So anyway, Freet Tanga, awesome. And then I have the Freet Talus 3, which is probably one of the most lightweight, um, barefoot shoes I own. I, you know, I, I'm not doing this for each shoe on the table, but look at that. Come on, who doesn't want a shoe that does that? It's like a sock with rubber on it. Uh, I mean, I love these things. So that's the Free Talus. Those guys come in in my model at 10.9 centimeters. So now my feet are 11, 11 centimeters. So we've gone through, uh, you know, eight manufacturers or something already, and none of them are technically as wide as my foot. So, but I wear all of those shoes. So that should tell you that there is some give because of the size of the shoe and all that stuff I talked about. So bear that in mind. All right, we're down to the number one spot. Oh, no, no, we're not. We're down to the number two spot, which is Soft Star Shoes. Company out of Oregon. I have two models here. One is uh, my Switchback Hiking Boots. I have a review on these uh, and all these shoes. And uh, those are awesome. And boom, I'll throw those over there. And then I have my... Uh, I'm drawing a blank right now. The, the, the Primal Sawyer. Okay, they have a, a line of shoes called Primal, which is like the extra wide, super human foot-shaped models that are uh, uh, designed that way. And this is kind of an office casual vibe that fits that shape. Ultra wide, and that's the Soft Star Shoes, the Primal line. So not all Soft Star Shoes are going to be that extra wide. So I'm talking about their Primal line. So make sure you look for that if you're looking for extra wide. And um, they come in at 11.1 centimeters. So now I'm finally in a shoe that technically has the width that accommodates my foot. <laughs> and we're down to the number one widest shoe spot. And there's two manufacturers that fit in the number one. They tied for number one, guys. One of them, I love the company. I have no links. I do have soft star links and discount codes. Check them down below. But on the number one spot here, these two companies, one of them, I love their shoes. I cannot reach them to save my life to get any affiliate hookup, and I haven't seen anybody else get an affiliate hookup with them either. They just, <laughs> they're a great company. I love their shoes and their style. Bohempia, boom. I have a couple different models. I have two models of this. This is the Bohempia Colda, 
It's kind of like an old school Keds vibe, Oxford style. I got my little elastic laces on there, and they're super nice. And then I have the Bohempia Hoska, or Hoska, however you want to pronounce it, H-O-S-K-A. And they're kind of like a Vans, uh, Converse sort of vibe. They have them with the, the little a rubber cap toe, too, that look just like Converse high top and low top. Those are dope. I'm about to get a, a low top pair of those as soon as I can. And no links, no codes, but you got to love these. And they come in at 11.2 centimeters. So just one millimeter wider than the other one. All right. Uh, okay. So that's Bohempia Shoes. And then also tied in the number one spot, we have Luke's Shoes. They don't have a whole ton of models. They do have some women's. They have some men's. Uh, they have more on the women's side, actually, but these are the shoes I got from them, and they are just beautiful for that office casual vibe, very similar to that Soft Star Shoes, uh, Primal Sawyer uh, kind of feel, and, and similar width, shape, everything. They have a very much a slope-shaped foot. Um, but anyways, uh, Luke's comes in at 11.2. Again, they tied uh, with the Bohempias for the number one spot. So Luke's and Bohempia come out the winners, in my measurements anyways, what I came up with. Now, maybe you might get different results again with different models or you measure a little differently or you look at someone's different chart or whatever have you, but that's the best I could do. Okay, so the quick recap. We have the custom options with Prime Trotter, with Drifter Leather, with Deliberate Life Designs sandals and Paisley Running sandals. Those are the custom options. You can get them as wide as you want. Then coming in at number seven, we have Tide, Feel Grounds, and Orgo Shoes at 10.3 to 10.4 centimeters. Number six, Bear Barracks, we have 10.5 centimeters. Number five, Saguaro Shoes at 10.6. Number four, we have two companies tied, Belenka and Splay Athletics tied at 10.8 centimeters. Then we have at number three spot, Freet, which comes in at 10.9 centimeters. Then at number two, we have Soft Star Shoes at 11.1 centimeters. And tied for the number one spot, we have Luke's Shoes at 11.2 and Bohempia at 11.2. That's the quick recap. Those are the widest barefoot shoes on the market. I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, please leave your comments or questions uh, down below. Shoot me an email, whatever you got. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it was helpful. Catch you on the next go around. We'll see ya.